Hey, what's up YouTube? So today I want to show you a knife that is from Midgard Messer and they're from out of Germany. You get it in this pouch with this um, PVC uh, badge. Has this kind of cool um, Viking-ish character on it. Um, you also get like this literature. I'll provide their information in the description. So um, the way how it comes is there is this pin lock screw that you can screw in there and it prevents it from opening or when it's open it prevents it from like it's just an added extra thing to uh, like a a lock or stuff like that as well too and i believe it has to do because of certain uh, countries have certain regulations or something like that so i'll just show you right here so you can't open it just unscrew it and you can open it um i'm not very good at flicking this thing so i'm not even gonna try let me see if, actually, you know what, I'll give it a try. I can't flick it. A spider flick it or flick it with my thumb. Um, some people can, some people can. I, I just can't. Um, basically, it's a titanium scale with diamond pattern texture and um, um, full backspacer with a tungsten glass breaker. Uh, if you like to get that. Uh, it's a replaceable because there's a screw underneath here. I can see that uh, right there. You can replace this milled titanium um, pocket clip. Um, it is not a deep carry, as you can see. It has the pattern on here, a uh, diamond pattern, but this part of the lock bar and everything is fine. This right over here, if you can see it moving, it's also a locking feature. All right. Um, so, for example, if you have it open and you turn this all the way over, actually that's unlock, okay? And But if you turn it all the other way, the lock bar will be locked in. So, uh, it runs on bearings, if I remember correctly. And obviously it's heavy, so it's drop shut. <laughs> um, <laughs> It is pretty smooth. Um, that's why I can get it open, um, but I'm not able to flick it open. Um, it has a really strong detent that locks it in place. Um, I bought it because it's kind of cool looking and it definitely is a heavy, um, I mean, it's it's heavy and it's big. Um, pretty thick on the blade spine, as you can see. And obviously back here. Um, is it comfortable? Um, it's pretty comfortable. Um, you have a troll with jimping on top and jimping on the top of the blade. You can hold it like this or like this, whichever you prefer. It's up to you. Um, I don't know if anybody would necessarily carry this, but it is the Beowulf, that's the model. And um, it's pretty cool. Let me just give you some like size comparison. So this is the spider called Shannon. That's what it looks like right next to the Beowulf, all right? Look at how thick it is. Look at the blade. Line on between the two. Um, oops. Yeah. It's not really that much. Uh, nope, I cannot flick it. <laughs> it's not really that much longer, but it's thick. <laughs> um, so, um, it's really cool. Um, the blade is um, CPM D2, so not regular D2. Um, it is flat ground. 
and it is in a stone wash, which I do like. Um, it looks like it is only made 250, they only made 250 of these, and this is number 241. I don't think I'm gonna use this. I don't. I think it's just something that I wanted because I like overbuilt knives, and I think this is gonna be one of them. Um, it's heavy. Um, let me show you the weight of it. This right here. So what we'll do is so the shaman weighs five point two ounces. This puppy weighs 12.4 ounces. Um, why don't we just do a quick... Huh. The thickness of this, the whole uh, knife, the handle part is 0.74 inches. The thickest part of the blade and spine is 0.23 inches. Um, actually, the thickest part with the clip is actually 0.94 inches. Alright, um, I guess, I know, um, if you like something like this, is maybe this might be something that you're interested in. Um, go check them out. This is the Beowulf. I don't think you can order these anymore, but they do have other models. Um, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.